Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ashley. Thank you for watching this video. We're going to be talking about Generation episodes 12 and 13. But first, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And also leave a comment. Let me know which episode you liked better. And let's get started. Episode 12 was mainly about Ariana. The episode started off with Ariana being the little brat that she is with the attitude. She was in a bad mood. She was mad that her dad bought her the wrong tampons. They bought light and she was, you know, upset about that. She was mad about her bra. They wasn't washing her bra right. And I'm like, girl, wash your own bra then. Wash your own clothes. You're old enough to wash your own clothes. She was fussing about not being able to finish her own sentences and being cut off. Her dads are so calm and patient. And anyway, yes, yeah, she was mad because she got cut off because she was like, I'm tired of being around all these guys. I need female energy. You won't let me have a sleepover. And then one of her dads was like, you can have a sleepover. And she was like, don't cut me off. Oh, girl. And then we see her in school, in class, and they're, like, talking about something. And the guys in the class are cutting her off, too. And she was mad about that, which I understand. Like, let me talk. And the guy was like, okay, okay, yeah, I'm sorry. You can talk. And then they still didn't let her finish. So she's frustrated. So basically, she's just frustrated this whole episode with boys. Then we see her being obsessed about becoming a witch. I do like witches. I don't know if that sounds weird. That's the only thing I really liked about this episode. So she's like studying to be a witch and then she gets her friends Delilah and Naomi into it. So they're like three fake coven witches. And Ariana is excited because witches are starting to follow her on Instagram or whatever. But when they all came together to do this spell so that Cooper can fall in love with Naomi, the spell went wrong and stuff almost caught on fire. So the witch on Skype that was helping them with the spell asked them, did everybody go into the spell with pure intentions? And they all looked at each other crazy. And that's when Delilah was like, I have a crush on Cooper. Like she finally admits it. And Naomi's like, why didn't you tell me? I told you to tell me. And then she's like, you can have him. And then Delilah's like, no, you can have him. And they going back and forth about it, which was so stupid. I'm looking at the TV with a straight face not excited at all but also there was a rumor going around school that a girl gave birth at a panda express because you know in part one she was giving birth at the mall so they are talking about delilah they just don't know that it's delilah at least not yet i'm wondering who spilled the beans or you know someone from school could have been at the mall they were running back and forth in a whole target basket and all that so someone could have saw them Ariana and Naomi were in class when everybody was talking about this rumor and they decided not to tell Delilah. But at the spell seance thing, they decided to tell Delilah to have pure intentions. You know, Delilah started freaking out. So the three of them decided to do a protection spell. So Delilah went in that refrigerator and dug out her placenta or her umbilical cord or whatever it was that she put in the refrigerator. They went back to the same spot in the bathroom where she gave birth that where the baby came out at and they did the whole spell thing for protection i don't know if it's just me but i want somebody else to find out that she had a whole baby so while they were still at the mall they decided to go bra shopping and while they were bra shopping naomi saw a poster and it gave her an idea for her and delilah to both date cooper and to ask him out to the winter formal and this just made Ariana feel even more left out because the three of them planned on going to the dance together and now they're just leaving her out to do a whole throuple thing. They just pushed her right on to the side. So Naomi, Delilah, and Ariana decorate a car so that Naomi and Delilah can have a throuple with him and to go to the dance. And of course he said, yeah. And they had Ariana record it all and she did not seem happy at all. She looked kind of sad. And then she's like, okay, bye, I'm leaving. And then they're like, bye, girl. And then she walks away and the same guy that was cutting her off in class asked her to the dance. And she's like, why are you asking me to the dance? You think I'm going to say yes and go out with you when you cut me off all day? You don't let me talk. And plus... The girls are supposed to ask the guys out and you came up with this idea and you're asking me? He was left looking dumb and then we see her at home and she's sad and one of her dads comes in and he's like, are you okay? She's like, it's fine, I'm on my period. I just have cramps and he calls the other dad. He's like, get the mite off. She's like, I don't want no mite off. And so she's like, y'all just go away. I don't want to talk to y'all. Please don't make me talk. 
and then so they go away and they come right back with ice cream they sit on the floor and then ariana joins them and eats some ice cream you know there's no words spoken they're just you know being there for ariana so let me know what y'all thought about this episode do y'all feel sorry for ariana I don't really like the girl, but I do feel a little bit bad for her. Probably about one-fourth bad. Now, let's move on to episode 13, which was my favorite episode of the two. So, first, when it comes on, we see Megan on stage, which is Naomi and Nathan's mom. And she's talking about love is complicated. And then we get a flash, and it says 12 hours earlier. So, we get to see what happens prior in that day and we see megan telling nathan that she wants to hang out nathan was like i can't and she's like why not and he was like you don't want to know because it's gay because you know she has a problem with that she's not comfortable about him being bi and then so eventually he's like it's a fundraiser for queer teen suicide prevention and just because he knows it bothers her and i'm so here for it he was like my friend's trans auntie is throwing it and there will be drag queens there and my gay boyfriend will be there too. They pretty much go back and forth about it and pretty much was like, I'm going regardless and then he walks away. But his dad is the one that seems okay with it. He's telling Megan, you know, we should just go. And she's like, no, he's daring me to go. And he's like, just go and see his world and all that kind of stuff. So eventually his dad and his mom went to the event his dad was getting hit on by some drag queens but i don't even think he realized it they were saying that he looks like he plays golf or whatever and he was you know giving him an example on how you swing the little golf club but the drag queens were being more sexual about it and the dad wasn't picking up on it his wife knew but he didn't have a clue but i love how he's just you know so open-minded about the whole thing so Greta texts Lucia or Lux or whatever you want to call her and she left her on red but she did end up showing up at the event. Greta was like I'm surprised you came but you know when Lucia was trying to show her some affection Greta backed away like she always does and then that's when Lucia was like why are you acting like this? Do you like me? And Greta was like, yeah, I do like you. And she's like, is it because Riley's here? And she's like, no. So she's like, you know what? I'm going to give you some time to think about it. And she got up and left. Then we see Greta telling Ariana in the bathroom that she thinks that she only likes Lucia because she was different from what she's used to pretty much. And she thinks something wrong with her. And Ariana was like, you just haven't figured out your thing yet. And you will eventually. And Ariana invited her to go to the dance with her and Greta was like okay then right after that we see Greta going up to Riley and telling her that the reason why she was acting funny on that field trip that they went on in part one wasn't because she didn't like her and she didn't get to finish because this guy Pablo popped up and ruined everything they just would not let us have Riley and Greta so this is the same guy that Riley hooked up with at the aquarium that one time i don't know if y'all remember i'm really upset and sad about this like greta was you know trying to lay it all out on the table and here goes riley hopping from one person to another again and some guy named pablo like i'm upset how do y'all feel about this let me know and i just want to take a moment to say hey girl to anna i love her she's one of my absolute favorites and we found out this episode that she was trans at least i did i never knew she was but hey girl she did a great job throwing this event together as if i was there <laughs> she did a great job and she did a great job hosting so then we see chester and Bo. honestly i don't know if they're a good match but we're gonna keep going with it let me know what y'all think about them as a couple but yeah we see them there they're having a great time they're having some fun in a bathroom and then here comes nathan talking about my mom's coming so i need you to pretend to be my boyfriend again and so that's when chester has to tell Bo about the whole thing and while he was explaining the whole thing to Bo, he was realizing that this whole thing is ridiculous he was telling Bo that you know that night that they had that horrible date that he kissed nathan but they wasn't pretending to be a couple then but he kissed him and Bo was like oh really because that night i went home sad i was real sad that night so 
Chester was like, I think this is sounding worse than what it is. And you know, he didn't get to finish because here comes a Nathan sitting there. He's like, sorry, my mom's coming. So, you know, they had to pretend about the whole thing. And Bo was like, you know what? It's fine. It's cool. So I don't know how okay he is with the whole thing, but we, we just gonna have to find out and see. But do you think that Nathan is being selfish? What do you think about this whole thing? And if you were Chester, would you do this for your friend? And for how long? I think that Chester should probably stop and Nathan should understand. Like, go get you another boyfriend or something. Another fake boyfriend. Because this is enough. He's going to end up probably, you know, having to break up with Bo because of Nathan. And that's going to be a whole mess. And then, so, the episode ends with Megan on stage. Anna called her up there to do karaoke. She called her her first victim. So, Megan gets up there. She says, love is complicated. And then, she starts singing the Gotta Be song. And it goes off. It ends with her singing until the credits are done. So, let me know your thoughts on episode 13. And let me know which of the two episodes you liked the best. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.